2019 was all about the b-roll, the cinematic sequences in a video. But who made the best b-roll this year? Last year. This is what we're gonna talk about in this video. Let's go. I already spent two days with this video. I put together my favorite b-rolls, but but to be more fair, I made up some rules. The first rule is that the creator needs to be under 200,000 subscribers. Because I believe after you have a lot of subscribers, you can have a team and create something really good. It's not that really hard. I categorized only the videos that were made for fun or as a result of a collaboration. If the video was made as a paid commercial, then I just ignored it. Because then the value of the production is way higher. I've wrote down hundreds of videos and I believe two years in movie making is, is nothing. That's me. I graded myself as a 1 on a scale from 1 to 10. Let me show you some of my videos so you can understand what's a 1. So all the videos that I have on my list, I think are better than my videos. Yes, I wanna know which one is your favorite B-roll last year. But since it's my channel, I was looking for videos in my style, I was looking for transitions in my style, I was looking for a music that fits the story, and then the colors, the sound effects, and the freaking good story. Because five, I ignored all the short B-rolls that are just part of a vlog, like when you take your jacket, you take up your shoe, you close the door, and you just drive to a location and you continue to vlog. I want a standalone cinematic sequences that can be part of a vlog, but also you could just upload it to the Instagram and it would look good with a great story. I found more than 100 videos that I loved. Some of the creators really overkill this year with cinematic sequences. And per my reviews, I could just fill up my top 10 with their videos, but that's not what I'm doing. I'm using one video per creator on my top list. All right, let's start this. But I hope you were not thinking that I'm making a B-roll review here and I will not shoot one. So I have ladyfingers and I have mascarpone cheese. So first, let's shoot the B-roll together. As Mr. Peter Lindgren said, even if you are a bad cinematographer, but you are a good editor, you can upload really good videos to the internet. As you guys can see, I am neither. I have a really long way to go until I become a good one. That's why I rate this as a one. I will tell you which ones are my top three, but first let me show you some really, really good B-rolls cinematic sequences and let me present you to their creators. I know when somebody mentions a creator, I go up on their channel and I check how many subscribers and how many videos do they have. Now, to make this video full, I will give you this information. But still, please go up on their channel and, and start following them. First of all, the Curious Wajan. This guy has only 1,400 subscribers with 22 videos. But I started following him because of his Instagram feed. He is doing a lot of good shots. Like, I think this guy just takes the camera and whatever he shoots is professional. From 2019, I would like to highlight his 24 hour in Chicago video. Here is five seconds of the video. The next guy is Kano, Kano, Kanoe, PH, whatever. 
<laughs> this is a really positive guy and his cinematic sequences bureaus are on the next level i really appreciate what you're doing on youtube thank you very much he has 1400 subscribers with 56 videos and great job Now Mr. Pat Greenall, he's an experienced videographer and you know this after checking some of his videos because he only has 12 videos but he also has 12,000 subscribers which I wish I was you but as I said he's a professional you can see that he was in the video business for a long time and my video for this year last year was the Calgary and the Banff video go and check it out because it's it's great. Now, Mr. Ryan Harris, you are one of the reasons why I'm talking into a GH5 right now. I commented on your video, you commented back, and this connection is the best between a YouTuber and a viewer. Thank you very much and I respect your responses. You are on my list, my friend. I want to say one of his greatest videos, but not the best, because that was recorded in 2018. One of his best videos is Always Now. It's a freaking inspirational, great story, great cinematic sequences, b-roll, whatever, just call it five seconds of it. There's always part of our minds that knows this can't go on forever. Don't you know this is coming? Now Mio, or Mayo, he's a Scandinavian DJ or songwriter and he just as a hobby he's doing youtube whatever he uploads and the way how he approaches his story is just phenomenal there's a video that was not uploaded last year but i think that's the best video on youtube exclamation sign point whatever check out a brief guide to a good life but for this year's selection go and check out rwb993 norway build hashtag one <laughs> here's a snippet Now when we're talking about b-rolls, I hope I don't have to present you Miss Lizzie Pierce. She is a wonderful creator and all the shots that she's making is something that even the National Geographic or Discovery Channel could use. It's probably even better. How can I get on that level? I mean, I know, just recording, 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 traveling, traveling, recording. Thank you for everything that you give us. Go and check out her five days in Ireland video. You won't regret. Your generous green makes the perfect carpet while guiding me with your light from above. If I'm talking about a crazy genius scientist, vlogger, YouTuber, people would think about Casey Neistat, which is correct, but not right now. Right now I'm talking about Daniel DiArco. I first heard about Daniel from Mango Street and back then he had 8,000 subscribers and right now he has 24.7 and I still I cannot understand why is he so freaking low. He is probably probably one of the best creators I ever seen on YouTube. Like he's, his b-rolls are freaking crazy. Nowadays it seems like everybody creates content based on some algorithm, but in my opinion, good algorithms just don't make good stories. Now before I would get in the top 3, I would like to say some honorable mentions. I couldn't find a YouTube channel for you guys, but I really love the videos that you uploaded on, on Instagram or on Vimeo or any other pages. Because yes, this wasn't just a YouTube search, it, I, I searched for two days everywhere. So Professor T or Timothy CSS, Richard Brutio or in Hungarian Brutio Richard, TGA Product, Martin Huergo, Kirill Potapov. You guys are all great creators and start a freaking YouTube channel because we need you guys. And now comes the top three, drum roll. James Matthews. The first video that I watched from him was watched by thousands. It's the pesto b-roll video. I don't have to say anything, I just subscribed right away. I couldn't put that video in here because that was made two years ago, but he's still the second on my top list. I f***ed up.
but I need to mention this. I need to put this video on the second place. And I will tell you why. There are so many small creators that are using his techniques. And I was going through hundreds and thousands of videos in the past two days. And I was seeing the rolling something over the table technique hundreds of times. But this dude is Daniel Schiffer. And the problem is that he wouldn't fit in my rules because he has 672,000 subscribers. Go and check out his video which is called How I Film Epic Handheld B-Roll which was kind of used by everybody who was recording food videography, food B-Roll since July 15, 2019. And finally we got here to the first, the best B-roll of 2019, in my opinion. And before I would tell you which one is the number one, the best B-roll, uh, I need to talk about the creator a bit. It's really hard to find a nice guy and a cool guy in the same person. And I know, we are rare. <laughs> and. And this person is European as well, just like just like me. But he has a lot more years of experience and you can see this in his videos. All I can say is that I'm addicted to his content and 2019 was, was a really good year for him. He is Mr. Peter Lindgren. I think all the videos are amazing. Good quality, good content, good story and thank you very much for for being part of the YouTube community and being an uploader because you are really changing the game and you can see it on my list you are number one Peter thank you very much sir but since this is not a channel review this is a b-roll review I'll need to mention your how to shoot a cinematic b-roll of a blacksmith video world of warcraft stole three years of my life which is crazy i know but the visuals the sound effects and the goosebumps that i got after watching this video were crazy and when i was watching this video it wasn't just the the b-roll and the cinematic sequence it was it was the experience that I had in me since I was a teenager and since I was a gamer. And even if you're not a gamer, just go and watch the blacksmith B-roll from Peter, Peter Lindgren. <laughs> and we're here at the end of the video. Well, I have to tell you that I couldn't review all the videos that were uploaded on YouTube in the entire 2019. And I'm pretty sure there are a lot of creators that would fit my rules and they could get in my top top 10 uh, or my in my top list, but they're not here yet. So please let me know which one is your favorite B-roll for the year of 2019 so I can go and take a look at it and they can have an extra subscriber, that's me. and. As I told you before, I already put in a lot of days into this and now I have to jump in the editing. So I guess I, I deserve a like, even if you liked it, then leave me two likes. And uh, until then, just hit subscribe with the pink snow shower and see you in the next one. Bye bye. It's not Peter Lindgren, that's American, with a Hungarian accent. Isn't it Peter Lindgren? Peter, Peter. Uh, you're the best, man.